What's going on guys, Skyward Studios 005 back here again, and today I'm back here with another Beyblade video. Now today I am doing a DB and BU battle to hype up my newest um, Bay that's arriving, which is Lightweight Excalibur, which comes in today. So, um, today we're doing Chain Curbeus and, um, versus to implement the new layer versus real film battle greatest raphael granted it did not come with the stickers which i'm a little mad about so it's whatever so the thing that makes in my opinion greatest raphael really underrated is again people will say it's the gimmick and that's why they don't like it the reason why i like it is due to its height like compared to chanker base chanker base is actually going to be a really good way to demonstrate it since it stands so tall in the stadium, it can easily crunch down on other bays and kind of make them lose their stamina. I'm going to try to demonstrate that for you guys real quick. So we got the greatest drop by the stadium. We got the anchor base in the stadium. Um, the easiest one to do this with is probably anything with the prominence blade without the, uh, the armor. Prominence Valkyrie was really easy to do this with. As you can see, it's literally, it's like crunching down on Tanker Bayes. And draining the stamina. I'm really quickly going to do one last demonstration of it with Prominence Phoenix with the um, armor off. So I'm already launching it, launching it with the armor off. So... Now, as you can see, if we do it one more time, it did it in the very last second where it pushes down on the bay. So, I think that was the greatest, that's the best strength of Greatest Raphael. And that's why I like the layer so much. But, on to the battle. It's going to be a first to five points battle. So, three, two, one. Uh, Chancorbeus has been burst. I have noticed that my Chancorbeus bursts a lot. I don't know if that's everybody else's, but yeah. I think that they would have given it teeth with the rubber stopper would have been a lot more effective. But I mean, Greatest Raphael was down to half burst as well, so 3 2 1. 2 0. Now, one thing I did notice scrapage on chain Curbeus is that if it scrapes in certain parts of the arena that will make it speed up towards the center so it's kind of an attack so that's pretty cool and there is the greatest punch ability that's three so three two one three two one So, just so that this video is not super short, that was Chain Curbeus' fight. We're going to do one other fight, and just to make it so that this is not a really short video, um, I think we're actually going to battle next up first to five points, Prominence Phoenix versus Greatest Raphael. So, it's going to be Greatest Raphael versus Defense Types. 
DB defense types. Now it is in heavy mode, so it should be harder to take off. And universe is harder to move than um, yard dash, so yeah. And it's actually using the, well, technically the greatest Raphael did win that. But the only way for you to use the greatest crunch ability against it, for future reference, is if you're underneath it like this, and then you just stand back up and tilt it over so it scrapes. That's really the one way you can take it out. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So it's one, zero, first five. I don't see either one of these two bursting. I've never seen Prominent Phoenix burst. I have seen Greatest Raphael burst, but only twice, and it needs to be a very hard-hitting bay, which Prominent Phoenix is not. I've seen it burst to Ultimate Valkyrie and Full Gear Dangerous Belial, and that's it. Greatest Raphael now takes two, takes the second point. So that's two zero. Three, two, one, let it go. Now, really, the best mode to use on XM Plus, you can't even convince me otherwise, is stamina mode. And that's what it's been in all of the matches. And it's had that good stamina. So, 3 2 on the earth. Prominence Phoenix, 2 1. Three, two, one. I'm going to give that to Prominent Phoenix. So now it's 2 2. Let's see. 3 2 1. Three, two, one. Three, two, three, two, yeah. Uh, Grace Raphael takes the lead now. Three, two, one, three. And it is close to five points, so. Four two. Let's see. Okay, take the final point. Three two. Three, two. Phoenix might be able to catch up. Three, two, one. Three. Four, four. 
perfect feet or a prominence phoenix. Dang, phoenix might take this one. Three, two, one. Three. I think Phoenix might be taking it. Phoenix takes, I think Phoenix is taking the battle. Yeah, Phoenix beats it. So it lost to Phoenix, beat Chang Kerbeas and overall, I'd still give it A rate, probably my favorite um, DB Bay. And let me know if you have any other battles that you guys wanna see. Of course, I'm gonna be testing Xyphoid Excalibur next. Um, well, the one battle that I don't want to do, just because of a bit of uh, PTSD, is because uh, Guilty Longness versus Greatest Raphael. Because in case you haven't seen that video, that's how the first Greatest Raphael layer broke. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do probably a review. I'm not sure yet if I can, if my phone will let me. Because uh, my phone does tend to act up. Xyphoid Excalibur is out for delivery today, so do you see a review? Great. If not, then you know I wasn't able to make it. I made a review for the D-Gear, so I should be able to make it for the Excalibur and the new launcher. So, personally, I don't really like the launcher. I don't like how it looks, number one. Number two, I'm just not a fan of record launchers. I think the easiness of a string launcher, where once you pull it, once you pull it, the string just auto-retracts. But, I have to see it. My first favorite launcher was the Blue Sword launcher from Prime Apocalypse, so you never know. Um, thank you all for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.